everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can organize your aesthetic of your book on pinterest so i know there's a lot of things that you want on pinterest that you want it to be part of your book aesthetic i do prefer that your book or no i prefer you to i say i prefer you should prefer um basically i prefer general it would be helpful if you have written at least the first chapter so you kind of get a feel for it or you know exactly what you want inside your head to picture it because you're gonna have two different you have two different pins so you have one pin is you have all of your ideas so i have one where i have art and this has a whole bunch of different pieces of pictures and um it has pictures in there it has quotes in there it has fan art in there it has a whole bunch of stuff that i would actually you know i would consider writing in any story or i'll make a separate pen for it and i'd have like the name of what i want it to be about so before you actually start to like make your quote-unquote aesthetic for your aesthetic um, book aesthetic on pinterest or whatever what you want to do is you're going to make one separate like this you can name it ideas ideas for book one of uh, whatever or you could just say say for instance when i was writing i think my voice is you i had a um a stylusin uh, pin already. So what I did was I put all of the stuff that I liked about um, stylusin on there, right? I put everything on there. Everything. It was a lot of stuff. And then when it was time to do my aesthetic, I kind of went through with the organizing tool and I kind of separated everything. But before I did that, I went through and I deleted all the stuff I didn't want. But that's why I said make your separate pin. Make a picture that you don't want to use that you can use to delete afterwards because if you put everything that you want, like you kind of separate the good from the bad if you make one picture that has a whole bunch of just ideas about it because maybe you want to keep those for later. So I said do one that you really don't care about, the one that you're not going to make public. And if you want to keep your um, pictures public, it says keep a secret, you can check that and everything. So after that you have made a, pinch, a little pin or whatever, you're going to go to your for you page. If you're new to Pinterest and you have never made a for you page before, you never had a, never did anything on you, like never searched up anything. Same so instance, like I searched up a lot of like TVD, Teen Wolf, Shadow Hunters. If you never searched anything in the search engine on here, go first and search up a whole bunch of stuff. Just like stuff that you want to look at, stuff that you're interested in. And there's also going to be um, suggestions when you first log in or you first sign in. There's going to be suggestions of stuff that you would like to look at. And you basically select a whole bunch of stuff that you're interested in. They're going to ask you, just like they do on Tumblr. Basically, Pinterest is like Tumblr, but minus like the talking. You kind of just pin things and you pin other people's stuff and they'll get a notification. So, yeah. If you actually want to see my Pinterest, I have a link to it in the description. Because I have, um, for every book I've ever created or every book I've ever wrote or piece of art that I've ever done, I have like a Pinterest for it because I always want to organize my ideas and everything like that. This is just me going through with my new book that I just released on Wattpad. It's called I'm His Repair Battalion Life. It is a Shadow Shadow Hunters um, fan fiction. It's about Clary and Alex. So yeah, sue me in the comments because I know y'all gonna come for me but I really like their ship. So yeah, and I made a book about it or I just started writing a book about it. But don't worry you guys, there's a, there's a couple things coming in 2022 it's a hand it's a mouthful for me when i say that so i'm just kind of just going through and just seeing what i like because also keep in mind sometimes when you actually own pinterest very frequently some of the same stuff with different aesthetic um aesthetic filters will show up so say for instance like pictures i haven't seen any pictures of the like say for instance when i did my when i was doing my styles and series there was multiple pictures that came up that I used as their aesthetic, but it had different filters. So say for instance, you want a picture with a certain filter to it, just go in to click on it. Then go right over there in the corner, it has like a little um, search, like little magnifying glass. And if that picture is, is like a picture, like a, um, like a little aesthetic picture or whatever, you go in there and it has somebody else might have your like your filter aesthetic that you want because a lot of people prefer a filter aesthetics, um, filters aesthetics. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. Most some people prefer pictures to have aesthetic filters to them. 
for their story because it goes along with their story like the vibe to it and i'm actually guilty of this i actually will find pictures that have that aesthetic to it and then place it and it's especially really good when you're trying to post on instagram and your instagram is an aesthetic if you already have pictures that have an aesthetic like the aesthetic filter to them you don't have to go in and edit it and stuff and also can make it another video where you can make collages for your um story that's the next um that's kind of the next video that's coming so yeah so now we are going on to where i said we're going to get into the organizing part but this really is a fun part you come after you have scrollless hours of selecting stuff that you like this is where you really get to show off you know your little skills and basically make your pen um your pen that looks so really cute and everything like that the first thing that i did do that i've been doing recently is this new like aesthetic format where basically i put uppercase and then i do spacings and it's really cute it's really cute for wattpad and it's really cute for um for pinterest and i actually tried it on this one since so the first one to do it so slowly but surely i'll have my entire pinterest being um shipped over to this cute little aesthetic and look how cute it looks i used to wonder how people used to get that cute little format and it's actually literally just an uppercase spacing in the way that pinterest works anyway it literally is super cute and i also have a lot of people gonna ask me how do i get my um pinterest dark mode on um on laptop i'll make a video about that so don't worry i already know because i didn't want it for the longest of time to have my wattpad be dark mode on my computer and also my pinterest and a lot of other apps on here because they're dark mode on my phone i love dark mode but it's better than light modes because i want to see everything and it looks so much better when it does that like look how crisp it looks when your um your pinterest is black and it's like the white um the white, the white wording it's just so amazing it is really fun though to just do this and it just kind of gives you it gives you inspiration for your book too so like say for instance you don't have inspiration like to carry on your book especially on wattpad it can be a little bit competitive sometimes because people want you to change your stories or they don't like you don't get the feedback that you want or like the outcome that you want you kind of just come to pinterest and kind of just i would say i would say um pinterest shop therapy you know just shop for different pins and everything it's really nice so after the fact that i've actually done my cute little formatting i just kind of go through and i have go through the organizing tab i actually never used to organize until i started to like do my own like my pinterest were not just for me anymore they were for like people to see because i didn't want people to actually see this like my pinterest uh, so unorganized so that's why i went in and i never actually thought about going on youtube and looking up a tutorial about it because I really don't see a lot of tutorials for like organizing for your book. So I was like, maybe I should make one. And here it is. But yeah. Also, I actually do post, um, sometimes I do post on uh, Pinterest. I post like pictures. Save and stuff like this picture. And I look everywhere because i used to especially for my salison series um so let me see let's see a salison series i um couldn't find black and white photos sometimes of like allison and styles so i used to i still do i upload black and white pictures of them because a lot of people don't actually want to do that themselves they kind of just want to put it in their aesthetic that's why if you actually do want to have like black and white pictures of certain um basically of certain pictures i do do some black and white ones it's really easy but i know a lot of people actually don't want to do it but the only thing that i don't really like about my um my black and white um mode on here like everything selected when you go to organize but i can actually handle it i actually like it like this but it is kind of sometimes irritating because you think everything's selected when it really isn't so yeah i am in love with this story with the clary story it's super cute it's an enemies to lovers not really too much enemies though because they're not really enemies they just don't really like each other right now and it's real cute because chapter one is out and chapter two is gonna come out soon and i decided so i was just like i might as well just make this little video of me rambling about how to you know 
make your Pinterest goal aesthetic like and post it because all my videos are when I do tutorials I get sidetracked so if you get a rambling mess <sighs> thanks for watching though because you guys actually do watch these videos when I ramble I'm a rambling youtuber I just, there should be a hashtag for that hashtag rambling youtuber but it's kind of like the thing is most of the times when I do tutorials they're like you guys see what I'm doing on the screen so if I say it once I'm not gonna keep repeating myself so I was just like please go chill out while my past self and my present self talk about what we're doing so yeah also another thing that I am really like I don't know what it is but like I actually like doing fan fictions that don't like they don't have popular they're not, not they're popular but they're not like super overpopulated like i like doing stuff like that like say it's my stylus and series or whatever stylus is a popular tag but it's not as popular as say for instance if i did um scott and allison that has so many people doing that or they have like him and kira him scott and kira like if they ever did something like that i really don't like their ship but they're okay but i really don't like to write them about write about them but like if i did it it'd be so hard for my baby my for my book to be recognized right so that's why i really don't like to populated things so say it's the clary and um is, but I do fall in love with um, ships that are not over, I would say over, over at like, I mean over populated, I would say. Alright, I'm back. So, like I was saying, I actually just recorded this and then re-recorded this for the second time. I didn't like the first one. So, like I was saying, if you will see me do a lot of underrated books, so like, say for instance, underrated tags, underrated ships, I will do them because I like them. Because, like, say for instance, Stylus is so underrated. People are like, we don't like them together. Or some people say, we love them together. It kind of gives me a little bit of a... I don't have... A, I have loyal people that are actually read it. They won't read it because it's a... People like... They think it's like... I'll write this book or write this ship or let's write a one chapter for the ships because I know genuine people will actually read it because they enjoy the ship. Not where other people that loves this one thing is so popular because they want to be like everybody else. Like I don't want like people, people pleasers or followers. I want people that actually generally like the ship or generally enjoy reading about the ship. Say for instance with Clary and Alex, a lot of people say they don't like it. But I love it, so I will write it. And I know, I know there's a lot of controversy-ish going on with that, this quote-unquote ship or whatever, but I really don't care. I'll write what I want. That's basically been my motto since I started writing. And also another thing is with just writing in general, people will tell you how to write your story all the time. But other than that, I'm good, y'all. So um, I actually do post on Pinterest, so check that out. There's also a new book coming out, maybe it's Love Shiro. I've been talking about it for a minute, I know, but it's coming out in 2022, too. If that actually makes any sense, that's a handful of a mouthful, I just said. But it's coming out, and I'm excited. So go check it out. Also, if you're wondering what I've been doing this entire video, what this um, I'm His Prepare Batai in Life book, it is a fan fiction. So go check it out. This is basically a tutorial on how you can organize your aesthetic, your book aesthetic. And I hope you guys, this actually was helpful. But if it was helpful, give it a thumbs up. If it wasn't helpful, don't tell me in the comments. Just keep your opinion to yourself. And yeah. There will be some new stuff coming out. I have a new game that I want to play in February. If you guys can guess what it is down in the comments, let me know. And also, we're super close to a thousand subscribers so keep on subscribing peace bye